in our film will meet the professionals who put themselves on the front line in an attempt to stop post-traumatic stress overpowering U.S. troops. Of course, right now he's still in crisis mode. We'll go to Washington, where the crisis is now being argued over in Congress. One-third of the Iraqi veterans who have been diagnosed with PTSD have committed felonies in the uh, civilian society. That is, that is incredible, uh, including about 200 homicides. And we'll show you how the military is trying breakthrough experimental treatments by taking veterans back to the battle virtually. People screaming, um, I just got shot. This is America's combat stress crisis. Oh. All right. The bold signature cry of US soldiers, the collective affirmation of America's indisputable military might. How appropriate this bullish bravado is, given what's happening here, is open to question. What is on top of your shoulder is a very powerful tool. This is the only training in traumatic stress these soldiers get while in theater. It's called the battle mind briefing. Anger, doubt, fear, isolation, exhaustion. These troops have flown halfway around the world and just hours previously arrived at Bagram Airfield, the US military's headquarters in Afghanistan. Many are fresh enlistments with just six weeks training under their belts. Others are veterans of repeated tours of duty, both here and in Iraq. The men and women are jet-lagged and bewildered by multiple back-to-back -back briefings they're required to sit through. The presentation for post-traumatic stress and how it could endanger their lives is a mere 11 and a half minutes long. As recently as last night in Afghanistan, this is what they're seeing. Few are able to remember all that they're told here, which is partly why one in five will be diagnosed with PTSD while in theatre, just as 60,000 of their colleagues already have been since the war on terror began. First time to Florida, raise your hand, please. Once they're back home, almost half of them will suffer some form of stress disorder.